But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this. Why have you not seen a set? I have no idea, man of arms, because there's tens of thousands of people playing and not all of them are running Trevenant. That's that's why. That's why. Yeah, but we're just gonna try it. What's the worst that could happen? Team's not good. We've we've lived with team is not good for a while. We've lived with that, so. But yeah, I remember just mostly with this team trying to set up Talonflame for the win, right? See if we can get shields out of the way and then run run them down or running start with Talonflame. So we got Umbreon and a Greedent in the lead. Okay. We'll do what you got to do to be safe, Sour Worm. That's a... Uh... Okay. This is kind of a slugfest, right? I honestly don't know who necessarily wins this fight. Like, just outright. <laughs> I like to think that we're probably favored, but it's just straight up fast move. It's just straight up charge move spam. I win the one shield with Dark Pulse. Lovely. Well, I am on Dark Pulse, so... I'm also just trying to see if I can sneak in a uh, a charge move here. There we go. Hey, Walter, thank you for the follow. Also, Boyka, appreciate the follow. Yeah, we'll sneak those in. I know, gotta watch the timer. Thanks, Walter. That's a good. That is a good reminder that the timer is gonna be relevant in this in this game. Almost certainly the timer is going to be relevant in this game. Nope, there's their bu there's a bullet seed for them. I mean, this is going to end up being very tight, right? Oh, that bullet seed, though. That bullet seed, though. Survive the body slam. Survive the body slam. No, <laughs> shit. All right, well, I'll take a whole ass incinerate on that and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so they have the, uh, they have the Tina. So the Tina is a bit of a problem, right? Like, I thought there might be a, a, a real scenario for I mean, it's sort of where we want it, but the problem for us is that, like, what do we actually do? I think we just, I think we just Brave Bird it and then we just switch, right? We don't have a good we don't have a good Tina matchup, but that's a lot of damage on the Tina. In fact, it puts it probably in a range where like if they start shielding this, then I feel like there's a good chance their backmon might be like a water type. Well, it is a water type. It's a Dragon Breath Gyarados though, which is at least capable of putting real damage on us. Unfortunately, they they did get out with the Tina. So when it comes to like a timer or whatever, when it comes to timer or switch advantage on a timer, there's actually some awkwardness happening here. Basically, at this point, it's whether or not I can get another frenzy plant off before I die to Dragon Breath. That's kind of where this is at. And I don't think the answer to that is yes. But I do think we're going to win this game. Because that dies. And then this will take one of those. And we get GG's. Whew. Okay. 
that was um <laughs> that was almost a t that was i mean almost a timeout there's 18 seconds left in the game but hey what's up peter all right we got umbreon and pff, god damn it again we doing this again It appears we're doing this again. Okay, they crunched me. Interesting. I wonder if they're they're just fishing for that debuff, right? The upside is that if they're fishing for the crunch debuff, which they did get, so they got it on the second crunch. They've done significantly less damage and spent a lot more energy in this process, but they did get the debuff. I think what we're going to do here is actually just pivot out to Venusaur and just be like, hey, you know what? I guess they're going to fish for another one. It's fine. I don't mind sacking the Venusaur to clear that debuff. Okay, they have not yet switched out of this matchup. I am a Dark Pulsar. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to stay turtle um dark pulse was really handy and a specific oh okay run of ultra premiere um where dark pulse was very very good at killing in two when uh you would have need three of the other move okay so they've now two shielded the greedent and they're still crunching Do I just take my... I'm going to shield this because I do think that like... I kind of... I mean, it feels to me like Venusaur matters. They've not switched. So... <laughs> okay, so the Jellicent. That's a Pokemon that makes sense for Venusaur to matter. Well, at this point, I'm going to let the Venusaur go after this because I just, I think having the shield is too valuable. And if it's a charmer, then we'll just Talonflame it, right? With a shield up. I think that's fine. And if it's another water type, there's a bubble beam, which is not going to kill us. Greedent was single moved though. I don't know that you want to be shielding your single moved Greedent. All right, Jer. Let's see what you got. Let's see if we can find another Greedent lead. Shall we Greedent again? No, we've got Swampert in the lead. Okay. It's not ideal, right? Swampert is a Amon that can actually just kind of outright beat us. But it's okay. This is kind of what Umbreon can do, right? Yeah, they did Shadow Gramble in the summer, but that's one at a... Like, we're talking one or two at a time, right? I'm not saying they haven't released any. I'm saying they've released very few. We've not seen very many new Shadows lately. 
This may be one of those matchups that Dark Pulse is worse in. There's an Earthquake, fine. They did get me, and they did sneak in a Mud Shot there too. What do you think this? I don't know. This looks pretty. I mean, there there doesn't have to be a Tina in the back, um, but that shield right there is pretty indicative of. Oh, I was trying to time a switch there, of them caring a lot about the Umbreon. So I'm actually going to. Uh, I wanted to switch in, eat that. But we're going to get this nice and low. There's the Tina. Okay, that's fine. This could be Crest Tina in the back too, right? This could easily be Crest Tina in the back. Or it could be Trev Tina, or it could be, you know, any kind of Psychic Tina combo. So, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking, Walker. The nice thing here is we actually do put a pretty good amount of damage on this thing, so it's not like a hopeless scenario. The Swampert is low. A charge move from almost any of our mons will kill the Swampert, so. Yeah, but a lot of them aren't running it. That's the thing. A lot of them aren't running it. The downside here is that, like, I didn't want to burn a shield in this losing matchup. Go for it. I'm going to get a running start here. That's that's a, a big get, right? Running start is a big get. Oh, wow. They already had it. They must have had a ton of energy. They had a ton of energy. That's pretty that's pretty bad. Ah, Lapras. Lapras is a problem. Cause I don't have I don't have the juice here, I don't think, to kill this Lapras and the Swampert through a shield. That's a pretty a pretty tall ask for us, I think. So the Venusaur was good, it was just out of position. It was just out of position. So there's the shield, okay. So they need to stack up two surfs. Which I think they might have. And we're we're gonna be probably pretty dead to two surfs. It's well played on their part. There's some math here that works. If this Surf doesn't kill us, we're going to get to a charge move against Swampert. We snuck in one, so we're not dead yet. Oh, good, good aggressive swap back. All right, well done. They played, they played nicely. All of our little, all of our little angles didn't work out. We needed a little more time off the clock there. I mean, only 10 seconds left in that battle, but we needed a little more time to bleed. And we needed our Venusaur to do something. And unfortunately... Rough for us. Nothing I can do. We could have tried to play to switch advantage, but like, if I had caught the uh, the hydro cannon, if I had caught the hydro cannon, we had it. We could have done that. Also, the thing is, is that like that's another instance where I think foul play was worse. So far, I've not been in this meta. I don't think foul play is looking good. I'm actually gonna go back to. I'm gonna go back to. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm gonna go back. Sorry, I'm gonna go back to foul play. I actually think foul play is looking a little bit better here because, like, it's not. There, there were a couple matchups in uh, Premiere when I was last running this where um, Umbreon definitely needed like it was just too much extra energy to to get there. And in this case, I think this is just better. I think I think this is just better. The the faster is better. Honestly. Based on everything I've seen. All right, Cress. Cress is a good lead for us. 
Also, Crest is a Pokemon that's pretty bad against our whole team, so... Okay. I know that Lapras has some, some play here because it can just sort of, like, do a shit ton of Ice Shard damage, but... Yeah, they might they might be playing to a two shield here. And if they are, then so be it. I think we just sort of match their shields along the way. We get into a little bit of an awkward spot here because I think they're slightly faster to two than we are. Okay, not really. I just don't think they can win the two shield in Ultra League in the same way that you can win it in Great League on occasion. But they might be trying. Yeah, they're not going to win this. So shields down is not ideal. Like, I don't love the idea of having everything shields down. But at the same time, we're going to have switch advantage and there's going to be a crest there. I know that it has Moonblast. I know that it can actually, like, hit Umbreon, but that's still not a winning fight for them. Also, I think we're going to get a Frenzy Plan out of this if they try and farm us. In fact, we might get multiples. We could also switch here. Like, real talk, we could just go to another Mon. But I think... Yeah, I have two Pokemon here that kind of blank this thing. I know this is expected, but, like, I think this is okay. If they get a Moonblast debuff, I might consider switching, but they can hit me with a bunch of Moonblasts here, and I don't think it matters much. We probably actually should consider Talonflame. Um, ah, Scrafty. It's a good catch. This is a good catch for them. But I do think... I'm trying to figure out. So here's what we're going to do. They're going to throw a foul play at me, right? I want to see how much damage foul play does. I might just have to nuke this thing out of out of existence. I might not be able to play the zero shield here with flame charges. Right? Fla uh, yeah, I think we just brave bird it. I think we just brave bird it. I, I just don't think we can afford the chance of this backfiring. <laughs> They still are going to have to throw a real move at us to kill us. Right? Moonblast. Moonblast is enough with the debuffs. The downside is obviously uh, they caught a move, which is not great. But I still don't think they can muster enough Moonblast to kill us. It's going to get a little tight because I think this is going to come up a little short. Right? Yeah. But I think they need like three Moonblasts to kill us. I don't think two does it. So I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. As long as we force them to throw something at the... Uh... Eh, actually, you know what? Two's going to get us if they get it. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for not getting it. Wow. GG's. Okay. Yeah, it's actually... I, I, that did more damage than I thought it did. Honestly. Uh, Empoleon. Okay, well, it's not really the matchup we're looking for. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not really where I want to be, but. What I'm trying to decide is if it's going to be a, a window for me to catch a, uh, a hydro cannon. That's kind of where I'm looking, right? Can I catch a hydro cannon? Like that. It felt like the right time. All right, so there's a dragon. It's only 2457, but I like as, as silly as it is to be kind of like, I'm just sort of punting away the Venusaur here. It is kind of what I'm doing, right? I think the Venusaur is like with that up front, there's a good chance that the Venusaur isn't particularly valuable in the back. So I'm kind of just like, well, what if we just, what if we just don't worry about the Venusaur here? 
See if I can bait out a target for uh, our Umbreon. That just felt like the right time, Mock. That just felt like the right time. And, uh, you know, it's relatively easy to catch uh, on waterfalls. If we can get a shield out of them, that would be excellent. I don't think they're going to shield this, but... Um, the, the Empoleon also does have another charge move. So worth worth remembering that we're likely going to need to uh, respect a Hydro Cannon, but... They also may just save that for later, right? So it's going to come in now, right? The problem is, is that like they don't have two and that Togekiss have a hard time killing Talonflame. That's already dead. We also do have a last resort. So I do have a little bit of, of extra damage to come in on this Togekiss um, if we get to that point. But I don't think we're going to. Because this is a pretty straightforward, I think, double uh, or triple flame charge scenario. What I'm wondering is, okay, they're on Ancient Power. We should be able to get to a Brave Bird before they even get another charge move, which is a little more, a little bit more damage and more reliable. So why don't we just kill him? Why don't we just kill him? Yeah. A double boosted Brave Bird for the win. We'll take it. GG's. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We'll take four wins. I like four wins. Four wins feels better than anything we did yesterday. <laughs> feels way better than anything we did yesterday. And a Croconaw. That does not feel good. I will say for a fact, Croconaw was not the answer. That was not the thing I was looking for. I did not want Croconaw. <laughs>